and we're back you guys let us continue on Metal Gear Solid 4 so uh, there's something I need to point out when I started playing the game and started the recording there was this download on the internet so that we can have achievements now uh, but it said that I needed to, to start the game from the beginning again so I did and it's kinda crazy it sounds crazy because it seems like like the game is really long and and it would have taken me like a long time to get here again but it's not really the case because I could just skip all the cutscenes up to this point of course I would renounce to one of the achievements that says that you you can see all the flashbacks and that that you get an achievement for that so I did get a couple of achievements on my way here I did rush in to get to the spot again so because I did rush, I did die. You know, I didn't take things slowly like I did in my recordings. So I'm going to have like a couple of deaths. I'd say like four or five. Because I, I was really trying to rush in. And this particular thing, uh, achievement, I didn't get on screen, I think. They just stand in a crop circle and you start hearing the, <clears throat> the flashbacks from MGS2 when the colonel was talking gibberish about being kidnapped by aliens but that's really all that there is to it and it's like a really short uh, voice flashback it's not even an image flashback so you really didn't miss much there uh, I'm almost at the same spot that I was last time Find something nearby to hide behind. Stay as you can the see there's the helicopter that it's really really troublesome so I'm just gonna take it out and it's no no big deal if you do if as long as you hide again and try and move from the location that you were. Oh crap! Whoa, that's a miracle. <laughs> yeah, just move a little bit and they they're not gonna see you. <clears throat> but you gotta take out that helicopter. At least I think so because it's really annoying. It's always there, and if it doesn't detect you, it'll detect that guy. I think. And last time I think it detected me, even though the light didn't technically touch me, which was just crazy. I, I don't know how that happened. But, um, yeah. I mean, I did record more uh, from the game, but at the same time, since, you know, the second reason of why... The second reason of why I started the game again was that I recorded like three more episodes with the wrong settings so the episodes were gonna look bad <clears throat> so I decided to go back again and record them as I always recorded them because I did choose the wrong uh, resolution but this time around it should be alright I don't know how it's gonna turn out um, this is me recording and when I'm done it's when I'll see the results but it should be okay it should look exactly the same way that it looks that the other uh, episodes look the only episode that is gonna look a little different is episode 17 so this guy is really annoying to protect as I mentioned before <coughs> I'm gonna try and get into a position that I don't get compromised. I should be okay on this little corner here. And he should be coming back this way as you can see. He usually takes the, sac the exact same uh, path but sometimes he kinda takes a different path and it's really not not really different it's like he goes to the exact same place only that he takes like a different route but usually he takes the exact same route all the time even if he's like discovered goes hide goes and hide and then uh huh so where's the guy that yeah this happened to me last time and I kinda moved and I was spotted Oh, there he is. So you were the guy. You bastard. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know there was a guy down here. <clears throat> OK, 
Okay, so they're gonna come back and check on him. I'll just take care of this guy. No, you don't. There we go. So we're pretty clear to go. He's gonna go through that tunnel over there, so I need to get there really quickly before he does. Because I think you need to zone out with them in order to find them in the next area. Or at least I think so. Whoop. I think he saw me there. Okay. You saw nothing. Oh. Come on. Run. There we go. I'm coming after you. <laughs> so we gone past some air er some areas that seem difficult, but it's they actually get a little more difficult. Only that I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve. There's another helicopter, so we need to take it out. <clears throat> Just wait till he's a little bit further. Because he'll hear the missile. And. There we go. They only hear the explosion of the chopper. Move to this side. Solid eye. It seems that this area is a little bit clear, people. He's only up there. Oh boy. I see more shadows coming this way. Great. Gotta help this guy now. Whoa. Hi. <laughs> And uh, keep in mind that you need to have a silencer in your in your gun, or else they're gonna know exactly where you are, even if you're perfectly camouflaged. You know, the only reason they don't know I'm here is because my gun is not making any noise. Although it's not unrealistic, but you know that's how the game works. Because <laughs> even if you put a silencer to a gun, you can still see it kind of sparkle. Whoa! Not again. Ugh. He's got that knife and thing out. Whoa, grenade and everything? Wow. Oh, down, boy. Whew. Jeez. Let me grab this stuff. Because I did sk skip cutscenes, and that means that I did skip getting a lot of Dreven points along the way, so I have a lot less Dreven points than I than I had. Although I did get everything, almost everything that I did get um, in my regular run. So I'm gonna recharge because I, I, I want to be at a hundred percent. I don't want to be using rations because um, you're gonna totally need all of the rations that you can, all of the noodles and regains. You're really gonna need them when all of this uh, following this guy thing is over, because you'll see. <laughs> Especially if you're playing it on the boss extreme. It's really, really hard to not get through all that without some some rations and and noodles. I'm pretty sure I'll run out of rations and I'm not sure about the noodles but it shouldn't get past the noodles at least. And you need to uh, save as much uh, life for later on in the game. Although, nah, not really. There's some areas that we're going to be exploring and there will probably be lots more noodles and rations. You know, I could have waken him up really quickly, but um, I need to recharge myself, so he might as well take a nap. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, this guy is really difficult once he spots you. I like more how when you manage Big Boss on on MGS3. I, I mean, it shouldn't be spoilers because you're watching MGS4. I mean, you're not gonna watch a Let's Play of Metal Gear Solid 4 if you haven't watched Metal Gear Solid 3. I don't. At least I don't think so. <laughs> but you know, I liked how Big Boss uh, did CQC more than than Snake. Snake's CQC kind of sucks. With all honesty, Big Boss was like overpowered. Like it didn't matter what gun or knife your enemy had. Once you take a hold of him, the the guy was just completely useless. And in this game, if you try and do CQC to the frogs, uh, it's almost a guarantee game over. I think there are ways to counterattack and get rid of the of the counter grip that they do to you, but I don't know how to do that. At least I haven't re really practiced that much. I mean, I barely noticed that there was this check. Um, you know, when you do, when you tell a person to freeze, and you you have them on the ground, uh, laying on the ground with their hands over their head, you can actually do a checkup on their bodies. And I didn't know how to do that until I saw the achievement, but. Um, this guy is taking forever. But the same thing goes with CQC in this game. There's just so much, uh, so many reactions you can have by pressing like random buttons. Like it's usually the triangle comes up, and you push it at the right time, and then there's like this counter attack or something. They did it a lot when you play uh, Metal Gear Online. I don't play anymore Metal Gear Online because the login is kind of tedious. There's like this coding for username and password. You know, it's not like in uh, you know, it's not like you can just log in with a normal. Uh, username and password. They got like these two different logins and passwords. Well, this guy took a different route. He's gonna come out through there. So he should get past next to me and go straight to where he needs to go. Come on, man, hurry up. Why is he coming this way? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, crap. Not again. Damn you. Bastard. <laughs> now, this guy is just making things harder for me. I wonder if he's gonna go down down the river again. I guess I'll uh I might I might as well skip it and see if um see where he goes. So when a person is laying down like that you can crouch, get next to him, and then you'll press a triangle and he'll wake him up. But um like this. That got rid of one star. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'll skip this and, and we'll see. Alright, so he actually did go directly to where he needed to go. He didn't like you know, he didn't take an, another route or anything, he just went straight up. So there he is. I need, really need to be careful where I, where I, put, where I position myself, because this guy... It's really annoying. <laughs> oh, so there, there's a guy there, and 
he kind of steps on a bottle. Whoa, sorry, I almost killed him. Oof, that would have been bad. If you kill this guy, you gotta look around for another one, and that is not cool. So he should get back here in a minute. Yeah, he kind of tries to sneak past the guards, but he hits a can that that's on the ground, and they hear him, and they arrest him, so you don't really have a choice but to take him out. And if you're the kind of person who would like to go through the whole game without killing anyone, of, uh, well, I don't know, if you, if, I, I think, you know, I haven't, there are some secret achievements, so maybe that's one of them. Um, you can buy from Dremen and Mosing Nagant. That's the same sniper rifle that the end used on MGS3 is available. <clears throat> and you can pretty much make everybody sleep at a really long distance. I think the Mosing Nagant here is the same as the MGS3. It should have like tranquilizer guns, uh, darts. Oh great! Snake, there were more guards over here. Yeah, Otacon, you don't need to remind me of the obvious. Oh come on, man! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! HQ, HQ. Shut up! Ah. Shh, crap! I need to move. Fire him. Fire him. There's something wrong. Support unit. Oh, I need to status. move this guy. Yeah, this is a uh, classic MGS tactic. Um, move the body so that the people who come searching don't see him. <laughs> oh, that that's not gonna work very much there if if they come. Yeah. You know? At least I don't see anyone on the radar. The only guy is up there, the the rebel. Oh, he saw me, but. I hide on time. It is your imagination, bro. I guess they didn't have guards close by or anything. Maybe they were like on their way and they won't get here on time because it's three seconds away, so yeah. Cool. Thank goodness. Understood. I don't want to deal the with guards right now. <clears throat> so this should be a zone. Yep. So I think this is a good uh, spot to stop. And we'll continue the chase for the next one. Should be one more and we should get there, I think. So I'll see you guys then. Bye.